Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Andra Makes. Today I'm going to be opening the May Craft Kit. If you've been following along, I subscribe to a Creative Woman subscription that you receive every month and it's a different craft. And I'll put a link to the playlist in the description box. It's through Annie's Craft Catalog and I'll link their YouTube channel and also their website but I have had several kits over the past few months. You receive one a month. I'm not affiliated in any way. I purchase these with my own money, but I just think it's fun to try new things and also share with you what's in the kit in case you're interested. And there's all kinds of different subscriptions for kids, adults, all types of different crafts. So check out that playlist if you are interested. But I'm going to be opening May's. I know this is coming out in June. I record my videos ahead of time. So I'm going to try to get caught up. And this video, I'm going to open the craft kit and show it to you. And this is the first time I'm seeing it also. And then future me, I'm going to go ahead and make it and then put that in this video also. So opening it and then showing it the completed project to you will all be in this video. So let's see what's in May's craft kit. How cool. It's a monogrammed barn quilt kit. And I'll get everything out and we'll go through it together. Oh, real quickly, before I do that, I wanted to give you an update on the magnets in case you've been following along with that adventure. I made the magnets from one of the kits and the adhesive didn't hold. So I tried hot glue and that didn't work either. So Hubs had a product called Liquid Nails and he put that on for me and it's been a few weeks and so far that is holding perfectly. So there's the update on the magnets. But now back to this kit. Here's the pamphlet that comes with it and let's see everything that is included. Okay, it says in the kit is the frame with removable backing, which here's the wooden frame, and it also already comes with a hanger, which is really cool. And then it also comes with paint, these really pretty earth tone colors that would match any decor, but it's black and gray and sort of a taupey brown and white, a lighter gray and a darker gray. So those are really pretty and would work well in any home. And then three different paint brushes varying in widths come with the kit. And then painter's tape, letter stencils, and then they also provide sandpaper which is really cool. And then other things you'll need which aren't included in the kit, waxed or parchment paper, a pencil, paper towels, cup of water, a ruler, and scissors. And then here's the brochure again. So that looks like so much fun. I'll get started on it and then when I'm finished I will show you the completed project. Okay, I'm back. It took me four days to finish this monogram barn quilt and I will say it was a little tedious for me. If you saw my video where I made this home sign up here, it was painted also. And it just takes a lot of time because you have to let each color dry before you do the next color. And one of the things that made it take a long time to me is you couldn't paint the quilt blocks, all of them that had the same color, you couldn't paint all those at once because of the way you had to tape them off and everything. So you had to do even the same color, you had to do that in several different steps also. So that was a little time consuming. If I could have used the same color for each section of the block at once, that would have made it gone so much faster. But like I said, the way you had to tape it off you weren't able to do that. So, like I said, that was a little tedious. I like to power through projects. I'll go from start to finish and just get it done. So the painting is not my favorite. I don't dislike it. It's just not one of my favorite things to do just because of the drying time. If I had something that I could just paint once and it was finished, that would be great. But it's just the waiting in between that 
I'm not that much of a fan of, but that's just my personality. Like when I sew, I power through, I only work on one project at a time. I go from start to finish before I start another project. But I am really pleased with how it turned out and I did do one thing differently. You saw that the center letter was a stencil. Well, I didn't do that because it took so much time to do the quilt blocks with the paint. I did not want to risk messing that up with a stencil and black paint dead center in the barn quilt. So instead, I went to Hobby Lobby and got a wooden letter for 99 cents. The wooden letter was white or maybe tannish, I can't remember, but I painted it black. So here's my monogram barn quilt. And there's the wooden letter, sort of 3D, I like that. And I'll move it in a little closer. And I really like all the neutral colors and I may hang this behind me, we'll see. But I have learned so far with these kits that I personally am not a huge fan of painting when it has to be done starting and stopping and starting and stopping. That's just not how I prefer to roll, but I am enjoying these and learning new things and trying new things and it's also teaching me patience among other things. So thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!